Welcome guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 4.16 and the statement of it is suppose that you are inspecting a lot of 1000 light bulbs along which 20 are defective. Okay, so uh, you choose two bulbs randomly from the lot without replacement. Let x1 equal to 1 if the first light bulb is defective and 0 otherwise x2 equal to 1 if the second light bulb is defective and 0 otherwise okay so on the basis of all this data what do we have to find out we have to find the probability that at least one light bulb chosen is defective okay so here we are given some data so on the basis of this data we can see that uh, we have a lot of 1000 so the given data here is okay so the total bulbs are how much total number of bulbs are 1000 and 20 are defective okay so the defective bulbs are 20 now on the basis of this data if x1 is equal to 1 it means that the first bulb is uh, defective and if x2 is 1 it means the second bulb is defective and we have to find the probability that at least one light bulb chosen is defective which means that if the two bulbs are also defective that is also the required condition here okay so on the basis of it let me write here the solution if we have here x1 x2 okay and we have to see that whether the two bulbs are defective or not so if x1 is 0 x2 is 0 so it means the two bulbs are non-defective and it means the condition is not fulfilled and we don't require it so therefore it will be not required okay similarly if we have the 0 this one what does it mean it means that the second bulb is defective so therefore we will require this condition similarly if this is one this is zero this is also the required condition which we need and also the last one when two bulbs are defective okay we can see here that when one one two bulbs are defective we also need it because here at least one bulb is written okay so on the basis of this data what can we find out if we want out the probability that any of two bulbs is defective we want to find out the probability of it how can we find it out we can find it out by one minus probability that none is defective this is the probability rule which we are going to follow here so on the basis of finding this uh, none is defective what do we have to see in order to find the probability of it let me find here or let me write here what let me write here the total choices okay and here the choices of non-defective okay so what are these quantities so let me write them all so the total choices here would be what we have the total number of bulbs 1000 and out of 1000 we have to select two bulbs so these would be the total choices okay what would be the choices of non-defective what does it mean that from the 20 defective bulbs you don't have to select any so it will become zero and also the remaining 980 which are the non-defective you have to select two out of them okay so these would be what these would be the uh, choices for the non-defective and we can see that these are here and this is the formula which we will be needing here so this is what this is the prime formula here and you have to understand that why did i write it here and this is because of the written formula which is uh, here written in the plain words okay so let me find it out and here in order to find out 1 minus uh, 20 0 i will get 1 out of it okay and here this will be 90 980 factorial okay divided by the 2 factorial and then 990 minus 2 978 factorial okay whole divided by sorry this whole divided by 
1000 factorial divided by 2 factorial and multiplied by what multiplied by 998 factorial okay so uh, by calculating it what i will get i will get 1 minus 0 0.9604 okay and then out of it what i will get let me move down somehow 1 minus 0 0.9604 it will be what 0 0.040 okay and that is what that is basically the probability that either x1 or x2 is what these are the defective okay so this plus is for what this is for or as we have previously seen and that is what that is the solution of the question which we were doing and from it you can also see that this plus is for what here you can also see that this is the table for the or function so therefore we had to find out x1 plus x2 okay so that is what we have here and that is the solution of question 4.16 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon